The details are emerging tonight about the mobile home fire where a five-month-old baby girl died. Good evening, I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Gracia Aguilar in for Tim Callahan. State officials now saying the management company did not file for the proper permits and no one should have been living inside. And 23ABC's Jessica Harrington is live at the mobile home park tonight with what state officials are saying about those permits. Jessica? Jackie, state officials said they alerted the property owner of this mobile home park here that seven of the units did not have the proper permits, permits that they say are important for the residents' safety. We want to make sure that it's safe uh, for the occupants to be living there, and so we don't allow the occupants to actually go in and start occupying the unit until we can be sure that it's a safe place to live. Today, a memorial sits next to the ashes of the mobile home where five-month-old Jenica Lozano died in a fire Sunday night. State officials say on January 4th, during an unannounced visit, they discovered seven of the units, including the one where baby Jenica died, did not have the proper permits. According to the California Department of Housing and Community Development, the mobile home property owners are required to file for a permit before installing a mobile home, and residents are not allowed to move in until the home has been inspected. State officials say the permits are a crucial step to ensure the safety of the residents. And at the inspection, we're looking for all kinds of health and safety uh, concerns, anything from mechanical, electrical, to make sure it's structurally sound, to make sure that fire safety is in place. And then we also, you know, we look over the entire park. HCD says the property owner was charged a $400 fee for each unit without a permit. The property owner has 30 days from January 4th to file the permit and have the inspection done. The seven units without permits now have signs saying no one is allowed inside. 23ABC reached out to the PAMA management company for a comment on the permits, and they sent this response. Quote, our most heartfelt condolences to Marco, Angelica, and their family. We are providing intermediate accommodations and relocating all affected families. We are working with all agencies and conducting our own internal investigation. State officials from the HCD added that this property has not had a single complaint in the past 20 years. As for the fire, the Kern County Fire Department says no smoke detectors were found and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in Oildale, Jessica Harrington, 23 ABC.